This video explains how to return the index positions of rows where a certain column of a pandas data frame matches a certain value. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our new data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to return the index positions of certain rows where a column in our data frame matches a certain value. So more precisely in this case I want to check which of the rows match the value in the column x2 or even more precisely which match the value 5. And we can do that as you can see in the third code box. So in this line of code I'm specifying the name of our data set. Then I'm using the index attribute and square brackets and within those square brackets I'm subsetting our column in which we want to search for matches. So in this case I want to search for matches in the column x2 and I want to check which of the values in the column x2 are equal to the value 5. And then I'm using the toList function to specify that I want to return a list with those index positions. So after running this line of code, another output is returned, which shows the index positions 0, 2 and 3. And if you go back to our data frame, you can see that in the row with the index position 0, the column x2 has the value 5. And also in the rows with the index positions 2 and 3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.